Hey, what's going on, guys? Peace Fame Gaming here. And today, I wanted to sh tell you guys about something. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I'm only using host privileges just because, well, there's a story to be had here. The origin story of the White Dragon. Now, the beginning story, in the beginning, when we first played together as, like, an entire clan, I made this survival world. Now, this was the survival world me, Seabad, and Prep were all playing on. Each and every time, we let players play on our base, take some stuff, take some supplies, and this is what they do. This was the very first base I built. Got lava casted, and crystalled, and so many more things. So we had to abandon this. But we still lived on. We still kept going. And then... My frame rate. Then this... Huge lava casting. Right on top of a mountain. Then... We go to my second base. Kicking him. Then we go to my second base. In which was flattened. Here's the story about this base. We, uh... Me and Seabad were playing on a, this world. I was AFK in my fish farm over there. And a player joined, came into my house, saw some end crystals, I guess, in one of my chests. And, well, he put down some obsidian, placed down the end crystal. Somehow, I have no idea how, because I ha didn't have any diamonds in any chests. He broke the end crystals from underneath it. And just left the game. We had to blow it up. Because at that time, TNT explodes did not affect end crystals. So we had to grief our own base that we worked hard on. And it was sad. It was just a depressing time. And while that was happening, this base, right here, was being built. Now at this point, Seabed was getting ticked. He was really, really getting angry. He said, you know what? To hell with it. Let's blow up spawn. Let's make it so they can't escape spawn fast enough so we can get over there and kill them before they can kill get to us. That plan ended up working. The, n the reason why I have so many maps is because of how many players I've killed. Me, Seabad, and even Prep were defending this world. To, to the nines. And then, again, one day I was AFK in a fishing farm Somebody, ooh, that's a glitch. I'm going to be doing a video about that as well. Uh, somebody decided it would be fun to just use TNT and blow this up. Again, don't know how they got the TNT, but they did. That's that base griefed. And, of course, Seabad is really ticked. He's killing everybody who joins. S and prep... Well, Prep didn't come in until a little bit after this happened, I believe. But that's why we made Wrath. It was supposed to be, you know, a launching pad for your Elytra to get to spawn faster. Hey, Prep. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna show you guys that this was an actual survival world. I'm just gonna exit it without saving. Which actually reminds me, settings, game options, are saving full.
this was the base that was made as a launching pad to get to spawn faster. It was a beautiful base. I was pretty proud of it. This tower. I was really proud of it actually. I love this base. Just to get a nice view. But yeah. That's kind of why we kick everybody outside of the game. Because I don't want that happening ever again. I do not want a nightmare to happen like this world. I might have some before and afters, so I might be able to show you guys some of that, but for right now, this is what this world was. Just hell. People die a lot just by uh just by falling down there it was it was bad times i <sighs> if you didn't notice this was made by a TNT duplicator all that carnage right here this huge line of just explosions was used as another line of defense for people if I was AFK I could have a little bit more of a chance to catch up with them but yeah anyways guys that's kind of why I kick everybody again I don't want that to happen again I don't want people getting mad at me because I was the one that let people in to grief our bases don't want to be known as that I want to keep everybody safe. And if you have a clan, if you ever become a clan leader, you'd understand why. Because me and Prep, I will protect him tooth and nail. Even if he's like, you know, if even if I'm under armored and he's really heavily armored, I will jump right in front of a bow to try and protect Prep. Because he's like my main man right now since Seabad left. He's like my be best man. Well, not best man, my right hand man. But, anyways, guys, that's gonna have to be it for today. But, I. You left a pest over here. But, anyways, guys, that'll have to be all for today. That's kind of just, you know, a story or backstory for us. And how we became to be. If you want a backstory on how I met Prep, I can do that. Just, you know, comment that you want to see that and leave the video a like. And see you guys later. Bye-bye.